guys and welcome to day five of the flats and hand washing challenge 2021 and today we're talking about wash routines so let's hop in and let me tell you how it's been going this week so right off the bat my wash routine is pretty much the same as it has been in years past this is my fourth year doing the challenge and so i will leave links down below to my previous years videos of me doing the diaper laundry in case you guys are interested in seeing how i hand wash everything but i don't want to do just a repeat of that for this year's video since it's pretty much the same thing that i've been doing in the previous three years. So I have some other stuff that I want to talk about today, but I do just quickly want to kind of run through my wash routine just verbally here. I didn't want to sit down and film it all because that's like a lot of work and a lot of footage, just a lot of minutes to edit. <laughs> so I just want to kind of mention it here and then you guys can check out the videos down below if you're really interested in seeing it all in action. So baby Barrett is the youngest baby that I have diapered during the flats and hand washing challenge. I did diaper Aaron when he was two months old, but Barrett is only one month old and he's still like pooping pretty much like every other diaper change is a poop whereas Aaron I don't think was pooping quite that often at the two month mark so there's a lot of poo there's a lot of newborn poo and yes newborn poo is easy because you don't have to spray it into the toilet or anything it's just runny liquidy stuff but it's not fun when it's literally every other diaper <laughs> so you have to kind of like you know rub the diapers together kind of scrub them a little bit with your hands to get the poo out a little bit before I toss them into the real like wash cycle so first of all um, I do have a little laundry basket down in the downstairs in the living room and I just throw the dirty diapers into that little laundry basket and then when I'm ready to wash I'll bring the basket up here and in the master in our bathroom in our bathroom is where I do the actual laundry so in our bathroom I actually didn't really need a laundry basket up here because I could just throw the diapers straight into the bucket I totally should have thought of that before the challenge began so lately I've just been filling up the bucket with some water and throwing in the dirty diapers kind of like you know um loosening them up like you know what are you like unfolding the diapers and throwing them into the water so they can kind of soak a little bit the first day I didn't do that and it was kind of tougher to get the poo out so letting them soak really helps getting the poo all broken down. I know we're talking about poo but we're talking about cloth diapers, <laughs> hand washing cloth diapers and I have a newborn on my hands so of course we're gonna be talking about poo. I'm sorry if that's not something that you want to talk about. <laughs> anyway I use the bucket and plunger method to wash my diapers and there are lots of different ways you can wash diapers. I've seen a couple people with washboards this year and I totally wish that I had a washboard for the newborn poo. I think that would be really really nice to like scrub out the poo and that would be I don't know I just think a washboard would be cool this year but I don't have a washboard I'm just using a bucket and plunger like I have in the years past. So bucket and plunger, washboard, you can just wash in the sink. I have been washing our covers in the sink actually because we've had a couple instances where I was running low on covers. I only have four covers for the whole challenge and I should have had six. Like I would have been okay if we had six covers but definitely there have been a couple days where I have like two covers with poo on them and I need to go and wash them in the sink when I don't want to do you know I don't, don't want to do like a whole giant load of laundry all the time just because I need covers so I'll just wash the covers in the sink and just kind of like hand scrub them get the poo out of the uh, gussets and whatnot and then they're good to go hang them on the line and then they're good to go so yeah I totally wish that I had some more covers honestly but yeah there are lots of different ways that you can do your washing and of course if it's getting the diapers clean who cares how you're doing it <laughs> if you're getting the diapers clean you're doing it right now one thing I have added liners lately um uh, Barrett's been having just like a little you know wetness sensitivity in his diaper region and so I had some fleece liners that I actually they all were free to me one um, I had a, a fleece blanket that I cut up into strips to be fleece liners and I also had like random actual store-bought fleece liners that I got as like hand-me-downs so they didn't add anything additional to my stash but I didn't include them I didn't have I didn't start using them until like day two or three so um, probably day three. Um, Barrett has been wearing the little liners as well, which are trying to help, you know, help him not feel as wet, kind of wick the moisture away from his bottom. He's just been, his butt, he just has like, you know, he's had some little rashes here and there since he's been born. His poo, you know, when you poo a thousand times a day, <laughs> it's not exactly good for your butt. So, um, definitely using cream on him and using those liners the last couple of days, which have been kind of nice for the washing because they will catch some of the poo. And then you just really have to scrub those little liners, which is so much easier to scrub a little like, you know, 10 inch 
little section as opposed to a big giant flat, you know, so you don't have to scrub too much to get the actual poo out. Now I feel like things are going pretty well. I'm not as excited for doing the laundry as I thought I would be. I feel like in years past, like I actually kind of had a good time doing the diaper laundry. I don't know what it is this year. I'm just not a fan. I don't ever get like excited to go do the laundry. I don't look forward to doing the laundry. I just feel like it's another stupid task I have to complete throughout the day. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not a fan of doing the laundry this time around. It's not exciting to me like it has been in years past. And that might be because of the stinking weather. It's been rainy all week here. And so I've been line drying in the house. You can probably see it right there behind me, um, just out there in the hallway. I, um, I haven't been able to take the drying rack outside at all. Like it's been just, you know, overcast, like little drizzly rain all day, <laughs> like little spurts of rain all day for the whole week so far. But I think I just looked at my weather app and I think starting tomorrow, the rain is supposed to go away. So that's exciting. I'll get at least a couple of days of decent, um, decent weather, hopefully, maybe, you know. So it is, it's springtime. It's been decent temperature wise. So we have had the windows open and stuff like my windows open in here and that window out in the hall is open. So it's getting some breeze in here, but that's also like letting in all of the humidity from outside as well. So things are taking a little bit, uh, a little bit of time to dry, but I've stuck them right there in front of the window. So the window is right here and you can kind of get a little bit of breeze here, but I also have the fan out in the hallway on like max. <laughs> So it's kind of like blowing things around and hopefully um, getting those a little bit dry. I haven't had any issues with things being not dry. Like if I do laundry the night before or if I do laundry in the middle of the day, like I expect like 12 hours, I expect half of a day my stuff should be dry and that has happened so far. So that's been nice. At least I haven't had that issue. And I did choose covers this time that I thought would dry more quickly, single layer PUL color covers, except for my assembly, which actually, that's another thing. My assembly has been drying pretty quick as well. Even though it is a double layer PUL, it's very thin and very flexible and movable. It has actually been drying just as well as my other single layer PUL covers. So that's been really nice. So yeah, I think that's about everything that I wanted to cover today in this video. I hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow's video, which is going to be the open topic video. And I'm doing a day in the life video, which I'm actually filming today as I'm also filming this video. So I hope you guys are excited to see that day in the life of a cloth diapering mom video come up tomorrow because I haven't put up one of those in forever since like last summer, probably when Aaron was still in diapers. So super exciting to be putting up that video. And then Sunday will be the wrap on everything. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have it up at 7 a.m. on the Sunday or if I'm going to wait to film it in the afternoon or evening and then put it up at nighttime on Sunday. So I don't know exactly when that video is going to go up, the actual like, you know, final thoughts finale of the week video, but it will be up sometime on Sunday, hopefully, as long as I get the time to film and edit it on that day. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow's video and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Let me know if you are participating in this week's challenge and I can go check out your channel as well. Go check out Bailey and all of the links to her stuff are down below because it's hosted by Bailey at the, po at the Cloth Diaper Podcast this year. And I do love her change up in topics and stuff like that. So if you have missed any of the videos from previously this week, I will leave the link to the playlist down below as well. So. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. Bye.